Welcome back. They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and it is true that beauty is subjective. But today, the flower dogs have sniffed out some of the flowers that are considered the most beautiful in the world. First up, the sacred lotus. The lotus is a beautiful flower that is often associated with purity and spiritual enlightenment. It can seem almost ethereal in its appearance. These flowers are living fossils in that their existence seems to stretch back in time over 145 million years. The lotus grows in wetlands, usually in mud, but these stunning blooms can survive in extreme environments, including ice, as long as their roots remain in water or mud. But if the plant should die, their seeds can survive even without water for thousands of years. If you enjoy something a little darker, the Black Bacara Rose is a stunner. This is a hybrid tea rose that can grow up to six feet in height. It was developed by Jacques Mouchot of France by crossing the two dark red hybrid tea roses, Celica and Fuego Negro. There are more than 150 types of roses that grow as shrubby plants, climbers, and even ground covers, but the Black Baccara Rose is sure to make an impressive addition to your garden and your bouquet. Orchids are one of the largest families of plants, so not all orchids are beautiful and delicate flowers. But the Cattleya Orchid is sure to please. This is the variety that is most commonly used by florists for corsages. This species of orchid comes in a wide variety of color combinations, so you're sure to find one, or ten, to enhance any room or garden. And the Cutlea is quite easy to grow compared to other orchids, making it an excellent choice for the novice orchid grower. The Stargazer Lily is a large, showy, very fragrant blossom. Stargazer lily flowers grow on the top of tall stems and produce stunning blooms during summer. They are adorned with dark spots and light edges. In many cultures, these flowers symbolize good fortune and prosperity. Their name comes from how the five-pointed blooms grow upwards, appearing to be gazing at the sky. Their cherry pink coloring and heavily fragrant scent makes them a wonderful addition to fresh cut bouquets and cheerful flower arrangements. A much-loved variant of the gladiolus is the Priscilla gladiolus. This lovely bloom has tri-colored flowers consisting of mostly white ruffled flowers, but with pink edges and soft yellow highlights at the center. These tall, erect spikes are spectacular on their own in the garden, or even in a very tall vase. Because these flowers open from the bottom to the top, each flowering spike can potentially keep blooming for up to two weeks. One of the most beautiful dahlias is the Bishop of Landolf dahlia. It has been father from which many bishop varieties have been bred, and the Royal Horticultural Society has given it its Award of Garden Merit. Like a cherry lace dark chocolate bar, Bishop of Landolf seduces us with lavish peony-like dark red blooms above a sumptuous strong growing mound of deeply lobed dark bronzy purple foliage. The angelique tulip almost doesn't look like a tulip at all. These fragrant feminine blooms have been enchanting gardeners for decades. When viewed from afar, the flowers range in colors from the palest whisper pink to pale rose. But look twice, and you will find each petal is a whorl of shades, not only from blush pink to rich rose, but also the occasional flushes of pale yellow, cream, and pale green. So whether viewed from near or far, the angelique tulip is sure to enchant. The Asian bleeding heart is an old garden favorite. The plant flowers and gardens of lovely pink heart-shaped blooms with a little white teardrop appendage at the bottom. It is believed to originate from East Asia in Japan, but has been cultivated for so long that it's hard to tell exactly where it started. The bleeding heart symbolizes love in China in a similar way that red roses are in Western countries, as a token of love and desire for marriage with that special someone. That's all for now. If you would like to share your favorite beautiful flowers, let us know in the comments. <coughs> Join us next time when the flower dogs sniff out another floral bouquet for you to enjoy.